Welcome to our introduction to Windows XP. In this video, we'll look at formatting and changing icons. In this video, I will quickly show you how you can format or make changes to how the icons appear on the desktop. So here's the desktop, of course, and here's the My Computer icon, and there's the Recycle Bin icon, and here are some shortcuts, one to Yahoo, one to Internet Checkers, and one to Launch Excel. If you right-click on any blank area of the desktop, here we get the context menu, and what we want to pay attention to is Arrange Icons by, and I didn't need to click anything there. If I just put the mouse pointer over the Arrange Icons by option, the submenu appears. So Arrange Icons by, and I'll talk you through all these options in a moment. First of all, it's worth noting that these little dividing lines separate what Microsoft considers different functionality. So these four items are related. So Microsoft puts them in one division, and there's another division or area here with some more related options, and then the third area. Okay, first of all, arrange icons by, you can arrange them by name, size, type, or when they were modified. If I arrange by name, okay, it doesn't make any difference, so let me jumble them up, just clicking, holding, and dragging with the left mouse button, just moving things around. And now, right-click on the blank area of the desktop, arrange icons by name, left-click, and it tidies them up immediately and sorts them in name order. Now, let's do that again. Just jumble them up. And on a blank area, right-click, arrange icons by, let's say, type. Those would generally be the most relevant options for sorting your icons, or rather the contents of your desktop. And left-click, and there we go, it's sorting them. And it looks very much the same as before. So next, left click, click arrange icons by, and you can choose to auto arrange, but I'll come to that in a minute. You can also align to grid, and you can see that it's ticked, so that automatically aligns your icons to a grid. What that means is there's an invisible grid. I guess you can imagine it like a chessboard, and the invisible chessboard on the screen has lots of squares, of course, and the icons can only appear within a square. Microsoft does this to help things appear tidy. If I try to move it here, it won't let me. If I click, hold, and drag and try to put it here, as soon as I let go of the left mouse button, it jumps to this spot, or that spot. So it keeps things in place, nice and tidy and aligned. Okay, let's bring up the context menu again. Right click, arrange icons by, align icons to grid. If I left click to turn that off, and now let me go back, arrange icons by, and now you see that align to grid is no longer selected. And now I can do what I want. You can even bundle them up very close to each other. Click, hold, and drag. Obviously, though, it's not very usable that way because it's quite untidy. So if I right-click, arrange icons by, and turn align to grid back on, left-click, it immediately tidies up my icons. So keep that in mind if you want to keep your desktop arranged tidily and easily. OK, right-click, arrange icons by, auto-arrange. If you want Windows to automatically arrange your icons for you, just left-click, and there you go. Let me go back to the menu, and you see Auto Arrange is selected, and if I try to click, hold, and drag now, it just won't let me. Okay, I'm letting go with the left mouse button, and it immediately reappears here. So, you see, it just won't let me rearrange my icons. So that's Auto Arrange. If you want Windows XP to decide for you where your icons should appear, that's the option to use. Okay, let's bring that up again. And show desktop icons. 
If for whatever reason you don't want the icons to show on the desktop, left click on that and you see that the icons have disappeared from the desktop. So if for whatever reason you want to work this way, if you want things to be even cleaner, you can. But let's bring them back now because I often find it useful to have icons on the desktop. Right click, arrange icons by, show desktop icons, and they're back. Right click, arrange icons by, and you see that shows desktop icons is selected. Those are the main options for arranging your desktop. I'll cover the remaining options at a later stage, but those are the main options for getting quickly up and running, organizing the icons on your desktop, and making it work the way you want to work, and you may choose to go with the Auto Arrange feature, so you don't have to think about it at all, and all the icons are arranged for you.